It's a holiday destination for us, but now it's a safe haven for thousands of Syrian refugees fleeing war and persecution. I'm standing on the shores of the Greek island of Lesbos. This small island is receiving thousands of refugees from just over there in Turkey, six miles away. It's boats like these dinghies that would transport the refugees here to Lesbos. There's reports of up to 80 people in one of these dinghies. A wave of people from Syria and Afghanistan seeking shelter from war and destruction. It's a death journey, but yeah. we have to. We are looking for a future for our kids, sure. for, our, for ourselves also. People are full of generosity here on Lesbos. There are people who are tourists and people who live here. There's only so much they can do because the numbers are just growing all the time. So this camp has about 3,000 people in it. It's a temporary camp, really. This is the worst uh, place to live in. The conditions are quite desperate here. The toilets are overrunning. Uh, there's no medical supplies here. People are just waiting. It's pretty grim. So this is all because of the sheer numbers that are flooding into the country here at Lesvos and other islands too, and it will continue. Uh, I see no evidence in the time I've been here of this letting up. It's getting worse and worse. More people are coming all the time. But the people I've spoken to here, they're, they're really frightened. They're not economic migrants, they're refugees. There are many women and children, disabled people, very young children, babies in arms, and more and more are coming. It's a desperate situation. On top of the financial problem that Greece is in, this is a humanitarian crisis that's happening right on our doorstep right now.